Well, it's now time for a regular Tuesday feature. Where are they now? He was the poster boy for the National Basketball League, the NBL, for years. But his real passion was with football. That individual is Andrew Marlon O'Neill Wilby, born in Kingston and grew up in the community of Pembroke Hall. Well, I started out playing football, which was my favorite sport. Um, well, I grew up in a football family, so I, loved, I started loving football. Andrew first got involved in basketball when he entered Jamaica College at the age of 11. During his school years, he became a member of the school's team, which won the under-14, 16, and 19 ISSA titles. Well, um, it was at high school when I started JC in first form. Um, I was introduced to the sport, and from there I just started playing. And when I got to like third form, to enter fourth form, my mother said I should choose one of the sports. So I choose basketball. His rapid improvement landed him a place on the Urban Knights Division I team after leaving school. During that stint, the Knights won two trophies, 2007 and 2008, before he moved to Tivoli All-Stars, where he assisted them in winning back-to-back -back titles 2009 and 2010. Well, I won two with Urban Knights. Um, when I left Urban Knights, I went to Tivoli. I won the, the um, two more, and that was the that was when um was the last of the NBL at that time. But playing for other teams, but I won four four straight four straight with with two with Urban Knights and two with Tivoli Gardens. It was really good. Um, I enjoyed it. I learned a lot. Um, I learned to compose myself, um, slow down the game and play, and just enjoy the moment. With success flowing at all levels, Wilby was called to the national team and he made his debut against Puerto Rico with his last game being against Cuba. During that time, he played in the Central American and Caribbean Championships. One of my dreams to play for my country, like to represent the country is one of the best things you could do. And I got, I got the opportunity to do that and really, really proud of myself for doing that. Will be stated it was lack of support that prevented him from playing the game at the professional level. Playing professional was the goal. Um, didn't got the opportunity, um, but still give thanks because I achieved something that I, I wanted to, which is playing for my country. So it was always a goal to play professional, but it didn't happen. And for certain reasons, you can question God's path. So, you know. I'm grateful for what I did. So what is the Bank of Jamaica employee doing these days? Well, I currently work at the Bank of Jamaica. Um, I still play basketball. Um, think about playing one more year in the NBL. And I also coach um, Grand Spin D1 team. That's where we leave another edition of Where Are They Now? Until next week, same time, same place.